Hi, it's Yui. Welcome to my channel, Chibi Chibi Chef Japanese Home Cooking. Today, I'd like to show you how to make Halloween pumpkin mochi. You can cook it within 30 minutes from scratch, and it's cute and tasty. So please try it. First, let's make the pumpkin fillings. Cut some kabocha pumpkins. It's hard to cut a pumpkin, but if you remove the stem first, then you can make a cut in the stem with the edge of the knife. Inside the tip of the knife into the stem area like this for both sides, you can cut in half so easily. Hiya. A half pound of pumpkin is enough for making 6 mochi balls. So I'm using only a quarter of this pumpkin and cut it into pieces. To peel the pumpkin skin, it's easy to just microwave it first. Put the pumpkin pieces in a bowl with a sheet of plastic wrap and microwave them for 4 minutes. Place the microwaved pumpkin pieces on a plate without the water from the pumpkin. Please make sure to get rid of the water from the pumpkin to avoid making the filling soggy. Then you'll be able to peel the skin easily with a spoon and a fork. You can cook the pumpkin by boiling it if you prefer to. Smash the pumpkin with a fork to create a smooth texture. Add sugar there and mix them well. This is the inside filling for the mochi balls. You can make 6 mochi balls with this filling, so divide it into 6 sections. Next, let's make the mochi. This time, I use mochiko, which can be found quite easily at grocery stores on Amazon in the US, and hopefully it's easy to find for people in other countries too. Mochiko is sweet rice flour, and it's great for making Japanese mochi texture sweets. In a bowl, add a mochiko, sugar, and salt. Then mix them well. Add water there, and mix them again. Let the water absorb all the powder like this. Then microwave it with a sheet of plastic wrap again. You can cook this in a pot if you don't have a microwave. Microwave it for 2 minutes first. Take it out from the microwave and mix it well to cook evenly. Put it back in the microwave and cook it for 2 minutes again. Take it out and mix it again. Put it back and cook it for one more minute. So two minutes, two minutes, and one minute to microwave and mix constantly until the flour completely dissolves. Then you get this beautiful silky mochi easily. Finally, let's make the mochi balls. Today, I'm introducing three kinds of mochi ball coatings. Black sesame seed, almond, and ghost mochi balls. From the mochi I just microwaved, I can make 6 mochi balls. So first, I'm making 3 black sesame balls and 3 almond balls. Roast the black sesame and chopped almonds if they're not already roasted. Then spread them on large plates. Before the mochi base gets cold, place half of the mochi base each on the black sesame and the other half on the chopped almonds. Fully coat the mochi. The mochi is very sticky, but when it's coated, it's easy to handle. So make sure to have enough black sesame or chopped almonds to coat all the sides of the mochi. Divide the mochi into three sections respectively. Make sure to coat all the sides of the mochi and flatten each piece.
Place the pumpkin fillings which have been divided into small portions earlier in the middle of each mochi. Rock the fillings with the mochi. Pinch the corners of the mochi layer together to rub the filling. Even though the seam part looks messy, it's okay. You can place the seam side down on the plate and hide it. Since I like to show the Halloween orange color from the fillings, I'm cutting the mochi balls in half when I serve. To cut the mochi in half beautifully, it's easy to use cooking twine instead of a knife. Place the twine around the mochi in the center and cut it like this vigorously. Then you can cut the mochi balls nicely without making a mess on your knife. The roasted black sesame and almond matches with the mochi and pumpkin fillings well. And I love the nice toasty flavors from them. Last one is ghost Halloween mochi balls. This time, I'm using potato starch to coat the mochi. Spread the potato starch on a large plate and place the mochi there. Coat the mochi with the potato starch nicely. Divide the coated mochi into small mochi ball sizes. Coat all the sides of the small mochi pieces with the potato starch. Same as before, pop the pumpkin fillings one by one. I want to make ghost shaped mochi balls, so make thick cylinder shapes first. Then place it on a flat surface like this. Make the top head part smaller and the bottom part bigger to make the ghost shape. To make the ghost face, first I tried it with a few black sesame seeds. What the heck? So I used the leftover pumpkin skin. Cut the microwaved pumpkin skin to make the ghost eyes and the mouth. Make small holes on the ghost mochi face to stick on the eyes and the mouth pieces easily. Then this time, I could make better ghost faces. Woohoo! It's quite easy to cook only with your microwave and really fun to cook with kids. Hope you all have a happy Halloween. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again. Mata ne!